Good afternoon and welcome to our professional development. Today what we're going to be working with is learning how to put our students into small groups. This is one of the strategies, or we're actually doing four strategies today to help us get better at that and also get ready for uh, student-led engagement. We are working with Hohokam Middle School and uh, Coolidge High School today. And why are we doing this? Because of research. Research from uh, Davis tells us that um, in a college prep school, that working collaboratively does help bring up our student scores, as well as uh, Giles, who says in the structured group, more higher order thinking uh, skills are responsible or responding to specific um, mathematic questions and it helps attain those um, the higher thinking scores with our student their students using a mathematics questionnaire the other thing is, is Richie says math teachers working collaboratively and using uh, the form from common um, assessments drove instructional practice to raise student achievement which we have been watching this year with our beyond textbooks as well as our informatives that we've been giving our students every uh, standard that they're being taught we've actually seen that growth but now we're going to learn some other small group strategies in order to bring that even more forward okay our objective today with our teachers is that you will be use uh, you will be able to use strategies to lead small groups within your discussions in your classroom help improve students learning and understanding the content being taught by the participating and performing new strategies using today we're using uh, station teaching which is something that we sh is a fifth strategy you're really learning today if you pay attention to going from station to station you may be able to use this in your classroom or something else it also is part of Arizona standard six which means the teacher reviews and evaluates his or overall which is what I'm doing today with the teachers in this professional development is I made a professional plan and you guys are implementing it. The other thing that we're gonna be doing is we're using technology as an access and learning by having students reflect, which is gonna be actually you, you're gonna be reflecting today, but it's also teaching you how to make those reflection questions to use on your iPad app and Google Forms, which is ISTE number 2A. Today's essential questions that we will be starting off with and also in future professional development meetings, we will be able to come back with the student's work using our strategies today to answer these questions. How do small groups affect the success of students' learning? How does engaged students in new strategies affect students' retention of the contact? Why is small group collaboration important to students' growth? Again, we will not only reflect on that today a little bit, but more likely in our little individual meetings that we have on Thursday uh, with our content, are we going to go through and really look at students' work to see if we're doing it with these strategies. Again, today's strategies that we're working with, uh, we're going to get into small groups, and the reason why we're doing it is to increase students' engagement and retention of the content using strategies called Paths to Chalk, half class lecture, Quaker meeting, and tournament. Those are the four we're learning today. Your expectation that I have for you is teachers will take a, a card with a number and move to the station that matches that number. That'll be your first station that you're going to. Uh, and then from there, you'll be moving to the groups uh, going, if you get a three, you'll be moving to uh, station four and so forth until you reach all stations, all four stations. Teachers will give full attention to the instructions about how to perform the new strategy and to by taking notes on a, gra a graphic organizer. Students will discuss how to implement uh, new strategies in their classroom, uh, and perform them within a two week time frame. So today you will be writing a lesson plan using one of the strategies. Uh, that we will be checking on you, walking through your classrooms every week to see if it's implemented and give you feedback on your strategies. Teachers will reflect on how the new strategies affected their students' learning and struggles that has happened in their classroom. You'll be bringing that back. Uh, once we see the implementation, you'll be bringing it to uh, the weekly Thursday meeting in your content and we'll discuss those. Teachers will bring back your reflections to the content meeting. Again, what I just said for number four. 
and we'll have a, a great discussion on how we can implement and change and make things better. What are the four uh, strategies we're learning? Well, first of all, at station one, you're gonna find past the chalk. So if you have a one in front of you, that's where you're starting. It's over here in this corner. What is that strategy entail? Providing an object for a student to pass around. You can choose anything in your classroom. Uh, I have pom-poms and uh, also uh, a racer will do, uh, a clicker will, you know, anything that clicks. Uh, to, it's a way whoever gets it, they can click it. Whatever you wanna use, and, you know, come up with your own uh, object to pass around. Whoever has it, you give them a question and they must answer that question. After answering the question, that student passes to another student. You also can use a little ball, like a paper ball for this one. Um, pass it to another student and also will have a different question and keep repeating until all questions on your topic's been answered. So another great strategy also to review for a test. Here are some suggestions that you're gonna find at your station when you get there. If you're a math teacher, please look for math. Uh, your strategies are gonna be how to use it using and answering questions for problems, um, having a student maybe solve a problem and passing it on the object on. ELA science and art and social studies, you can use um, different documents, articles on different topics, uh, and then have guided questions or already pre-made questions for those articles and pass the object. It could be on poems, stories for ELA, uh, PE, CTE, um, there's, you can use articles, you can use instructions on how to do something, uh, asking questions about what is the next ingredient. This is yo, you know, with your culture class back there, uh, you can actually use it for, what is the next uh, ingredient in this recipe? Wouldn't that be a great one? Yes, okay. Yeah, isn't it? Okay, good. All right, um, also for ag, what a great way to even uh, introduce um, husbandry. What do you do for your animal and then pass it around uh, the, um, the object and answering questions for that. Keys, station two, which is located back here on this corner, is going to be half class lecture. The object of this is separating your class in twos, providing them with materials, written materials for them to read for one half while you're lecturing to the other half. Then about halfway through the class, you wanted to switch it around. So that way, whoever was reading comes to the lecture, whoever's being lectured goes to the reading materials. And then towards the end of time frame, you stop uh, for them to actually go find partners that was not in their groups uh, and have a discussion pair up and have very, and answer very questions about what they learned for that day. Some suggestions, again, goes back into solving problems. Uh, less uh, literacy dealing with standards, uh, historical, historical documents for history and also for science, technology, scienti uh, talking about scientists, uh, art documents on artists, various types of work and uh, various types of modes of art, PE, history of sports, health related and athletes, CTE, any documents relevant to your content. You will find some of these within your packet as you go. Third station, which is located in the back corner over here. The objective is to give a student a highlighter so they can go through and highlight passage of a reading material. And then uh, there's a pause, like a Quaker meeting, uh, until someone volunteers to read their answers that they decide uh, they have chosen to highlight. And it's actually, this actually encourage other students to join in the discussion. Well, I didn't highlight that. But I highlighted this and also uh, at the end of this exercise you have your students write a recollection piece. So at that station, math, you're going to be able to find math problems, ELA, any doc, there's a whole bunch of documents for you also. Science, history, great historical and um, re relevant documents. Art, any document related, any topics that you're teaching, we actually gave you um, in your packet back there. Um, not only did we give you a couple of documents, we also gave you some choices of websites to go back and get some of those documents. Same thing with PE and CTEs, you're gonna find those there uh, for you to take back to your classroom and use plus. There are some um, graphic organizers for you to um, be able to make copies for your students.
Station four, which is back up here to the front, is going to be about tournaments. We all like tournaments. Your kids love tournaments too. Remember when we played last time, it was uh, Family Feud, and oh my goodness, um, Miss Ostrowski, you did a great job on that answer, and almost, oh, you got the whole group going. Anyway, what you're gonna do is separate your classes into four or more, or maybe even in two or more groups, and tell the class about the competition on, pra on a practice day. Uh, have them all prepared with uh, review materials, and then let the students study a topic uh, for, for the group. Everybody uh, studies it. And then they come and they answer quizzes and tally, they tally their own points. Another way of getting it into student-led engagement is actually maybe having the students write the questions about what they're learning. And then that could be part of the quiz game as well as part of the quiz that you give them later on. And then, uh, then, you, then the points will carry over from round to round. And then students using the competition form of learning to focus on their engagement on the content material itself is the whole point behind that. Okay, for this station, you're gonna find uh, anything related to your, your content. It's gonna be in the folder. It's going to be, um, for PE, we actually added some stuff like for weightlifting, nutrition, and health uh, review. Uh, CTE, review on cooking styles, STEM reviews, military calls, um, agriculture topic ideas for you. Uh, the rest of you, uh, it's pretty self-explanatory, what you're going to find uh, for quizzes and everything else. Any questions? Okay. Your exit direction is, you are to start at the station, it has your card number. Every 45 minutes with your stations will be time, meaning that you will move to the next upper level. So if you're number one, you move to two. If you're at four, you move to one and so forth. New, infor new information from each of your station goes under your strategy tab, professional development and your notebook. <clears throat> so that way you can access it for a later time. Um, again, after you're done with the station and the buzzer goes off, move to the next station. Any questions? You may begin. Well, welcome back. I hope we learned a lot from the strategies. I hope we can use them in the classroom. Remember, the master teachers, uh, the administration will be visiting your classrooms this next couple of weeks. You know, we come every week and we will give you feedback on the strategies that you learned today. Also, um, we'll be meeting in two weeks, talk about what you learned from this uh, professional development talk about any problems that happen in the classroom, any changes we need to make to those strategies, and also bring in student work, showing how the students actually main, um, retain the material, and um, also they're learning how to perform those strategies. Last thing I need to do for you for today, and then you're ready to go, is please sign on uh, right here, this Google, G-O-O-D.G-L, uh, Please take that survey about uh, what you are, what you learned today. At the very end, remember to look in your mailbox because you will receive a certificate of training. Okay, so there may sign on. Okay. Our references for today's for uh, for our meeting came from Davis, Giles, and Richie. Have a great day. <laughs>